guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna do some fun vintage cooking. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in, make yourselves comfortable. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see here today. This is not the first video in this series. I believe it is the fourth, maybe? I have this great old cookbook from my grandmother, her original Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, and I've been making really fun vintage recipes out of it for a while. I will leave the playlist down below if you want to see some of the other interesting things that we have done. Today I'm deviating from that just a little bit. This recipe actually isn't from that cookbook, but this is one that is like a family classic that my Aunt Judy made every holiday my entire life and I did some research on it and I was like oh I gotta share this with you guys you may have heard of it you may have had it your aunt Judy might make it as well it is called the Watergate salad you might also know it by a few other names in our family we always refer to it as the green fluff it is also known as the gate salad, as well as pistachio delight. Here's some fun history on the Watergate salad. It was first published in 1975 by uh, Kraft. Kraft is the one who uh, came up with this recipe and came out with it, and it was originally called pistachio delight. However, a Chicago food editor wanted to popularize this recipe in a certain publication and renamed it the Watergate Salad. And there are lots of myths now uh, behind why it is called the Watergate Salad. The first most popular rumor is that this salad was invented by the sous chef of the Watergate Hotel, um, but that has never been proven. But the rumor was so widely circulated that the Watergate Hotel did start serving this salad because that rumor was so believed by so many people. Apparently, uh, the Watergate salad had a real stronghold on America in the 70s, especially the Midwest, or so Wikipedia tells me. Let's get right into making it. This is the original craft recipe back from 1975 when it was originally published. And yeah, I think you're gonna like it. I like it, I'll eat it. I hope my kids eat it. I think the real test here will be if my son Desmond will eat it. I think so. Let's try. All right, this recipe only has a couple ingredients. We have some mini marshmallows. We also have some pecan chips. We have a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. We have a packet of instant pistachio pudding and pie filling. And we also have a container of Cool Whip. Um, so convenience is definitely the name of the game when it comes to the Watergate. It's not in the original recipe, but I'm also gonna put some cherries on top because that's the way my aunt made it. And, um, you know, vintage cooking is all about how we accessorize it in the end to look fancy. So, I've added those as well. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna empty our entire can of our crushed pineapple. Make sure it's crushed and not, not anything else. No slices or rings or chunks. It's gotta be crushed. And you're gonna put all the juice in there too. Everything from the can in your bowl. And to that, we are going to add our pudding and pie filling. It's gotta be the instant stuff. And um, one pouch is 3.4 ounces. I feel kind of bad that I didn't use like the Jello flavored one because this is like a real craft recipe. But this is all they have left, man. I wonder if everyone else wanted to make this like for Thanksgiving or something. I don't know. Anyway, pour that whole bad boy in there. Of course, this is where we get that great green color from, which is why in my family, it was lovingly referred to as green fluff. Next, we're going to add one cup of mini marshmallows. A heaping cup, there we go. Now I'm going to add half a cup of my pecans. This was the most expensive ingredient. It was around $5. I'm not gonna use the whole one. Uh, but generally, these ingredients are pretty inexpensive, which is always a plus, you know me. Also, I think it's interesting that it calls for pecans and not pistachios. But, you know, oh well. For our last easy ingredient, Cool Whip. I think it's funny that it actually does call for Cool Whip and not like whipped cream. Like I'm sure you could whip your own cream 
and it would make this a little bit richer. Um, but I think the point of this salad is that it is supposed to be super easy and fast and like kind of already made for you. I think um, because it was a craft recipe, they want you to use their products, of course. Um, so yeah, a cup and a half of Cool Whip. Such a great holiday side dish because you can use it like as a side with your meal or you can bring it out for dessert. I'm pretty sure when my Aunt Judy makes it, we just eat it the whole time. Um, I'm pretty sure I eat it with dessert and like on my plate of food. <laughs> and growing up, we always looked forward to eating it. We always really liked it. So yeah, green fluff for the win. And now that it is all combined, we are going to let it sit in the fridge for an hour. This is just gonna let that pudding sort of thicken everything up and make it extra delicious and pudding-y. All right, you guys, so here is the Watergate salad, but we're not done. Oh no, because of course, we have to put it in a piece of vintage crystal and we're going to add our cherries uh, because anyone serving something like this we're really, we're really trying to make it fancy. We want it to be the centerpiece of the holiday table. I don't know, dessert table, side table. Interesting fact about this fun crystal dish. Uh, we found it in this house when we bought it. Um, so that's exciting, free crystal. Alrighty, let's get the cherries on there, just like a nice little circle of cherries. I think she's beautiful. Is it ready? Yeah, do you want to try it? It's got whipped cream and marshmallows, and I think you'll like it. Do you want to try? Is it, are those cherries? Yeah, those are cherries. I do not like cherries. You don't have to eat one of the cherries. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, gotcha. oh. Wipe it off. I do not want it. Are you sure you don't want to try it? I sure I don't want to try it. Why not? Because. But it looks so good. Because. Because. You scooped a cherry. Yeah, well that's for me. Do you want to try just a little tiny bit in a bowl? Mm -hmm. It's whipped cream. Well, uh, Desmond uh, says no. Mmm, it's so good. It's so good, it's so different. I just never see things like this anymore. I love the textures of that pineapple that's like a little bit fibrous in there and then you've got the really soft marshmallows, the little bit of crunch um, from the nuts. Seriously, it's so good. I really do think you should give it a try if you like these types of flavors, because um, it is, it is unexpectedly delicious. All right, you guys, that's it for the Watergate salad. Super simple, but I think that's why it was so popular for so many years. Um, leave me a comment down below, let me know. Have you heard of it? Have you had it? Is this a staple in your family, your mother, your grandmother? Let me know all the things. Be sure to check out that playlist of all of my retro food down below if you wanna see some of the other interesting things uh, that I've made. And of course, be sure to subscribe and come on back for more. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.